My name is Paris Mukoko. I'm a rugby referee and also an IRB match official educator. I got involved in rugby from 2005 at uh, St. Mary's School, where we started the first women's team in 2005. Our playing was a bit uh, time, time bound. And at the same time with studies, it, it wasn't able to actually balance out. So that's when I decided to just uh, stick into to see how officiating can actually go from there. The um, first uh, time I actually got into rugby, I remember my parents asked me, why not netball, why not volleyball? And um, I think um, based uh, on that and showing them that it's a sport and everything is more or less similar, they now encourage me. Uh, the challenges that were there is, of course, um, it's a male-dominated sport, so that's one thing that you have to look at. Then I looked at it as an opportunity to actually work twice as hard. Yeah, so it was more of an opportunity as well as a challenge. Yeah. The transition wasn't that easy, but based on a few guidelines like mentorship from John Kagagi, who's uh, an educator and a former referee, and um, I look at Paul Odera, who actually coached me at St. Mary's. It was more of an eye-opener because through each and every step along the way, the people would actually just echo in your ears that you can actually do it. My first Kenya Cup game, whereby the um, men were actually, it was uh, Kenya Harlequins Black Blood. And um, they're actually twice as big. And um, it was a bit interesting because it was a, a new feel. And um, during the briefing, the captain would just tell me that it's okay, we are here, we'll... And um, also when we were down in South Africa doing the hostel games, because the um, South Africans are quite huge as well, um, you'd get to actually understand. Because remember, there has to be the player and referee relationship, or based on the player and the, the captain and the referee relationship. It's all about presence on the pitch, just being at the right place at the right time. So. Regardless of whether I may be soft-spoken and it's my nature, but it's a matter of presence on the pitch. So that means I actually work extra hard to get there and at the same time to communicate. As a referee, you call what you see. So based on certain situations, we're all human. So based on the current situation on the pitch in a game situation, if you see something and you call it, you simply call it because you have a split second to actually make a decision. Um, currently we're about four uh, female referees and um, with my RB educator, one of my goals is actually to get more women involved in match officiating. So that's something that I am looking at um, driving towards and getting more women to actually take up refereeing. If I'm to look at it in terms of sports, rugby is basically a hobby. I look at it as a hobby and it's um, through that hobby, it's actually passion driven. So over the weekend, at least I'm able to officiate the games. And um, normally from Monday to Friday, I'm engaged elsewhere. And then um, I'm also pursuing my masters. So it's, uh, it's, it's, at least it's a good way to actually balance out a lot of things.